Hey guys, it's Lexi. I have my Teddy Bees pre-order here to share with you today. This is always a very exciting time for anybody that hauls Teddy Bees, um, the wax community, whatever you want to say. I am just super excited because this was definitely a pre-order that I went just a little, just a little bit crazy on. Just a little bit, you'll see. Um, but I, I couldn't help it. There were a ton of good scents. Um, I actually, I remember placing this order when I was in Florida. We were on, a, um, Tom and I took a trip and I remember being like, oh, this is going to be hard because I think she released it the day before she opened the pre-order, right? Is that what happened? And, and I had to like call down the list and I was like, this is, Im this is impossible. <laughs> this is impossible to place this order. So, um, yeah, I mean, she, that's the thing with Teddy B. She always offers like these massive lists that are just like Im impossible to try to figure out what you're going to get and what you're going to essentially just miss out on. The, like the FOMO for the Teddy B's pre-orders, very real. It's uh, very real. So um, this is how everything looks. All I did was move the bubble wrap and take off this paper here and this just says thank you it's got a qr code it has all of her like socials her facebook page her email it says join the facebook group for updates announcements customer reviews everything like that and then on the back it says your order is here here are some tips to get the best experience out of your wax um i'll hold this up so you guys can pause it and check it out if you want to And then also, if you are interested, I will leave all of the information of Teddy Bees down below in the description so you guys can find the information there if you want. And let me try to move some of these. I'm actually going to just take these out because if I take these worms out of this box up here, the cats are going to go insane. They're, they're going to have a party up here and I, I can't, I just vacuumed up here so I not gonna be not gonna be vacuuming again so let me actually just uh pause this and then i'll come right back and share what i have okay so i just counted i did get 20 souffles two of the like tubs like larger size and um then I did receive a sample so let's talk about the sample first quickly the sample is key lime sugar cookies which is exciting because i did not pick the scent up um in any form i don't I don't believe so let me give this one a sniff hmm, that's pretty um i'm a little picky when it comes to wax scents but that's really nice it de i definitely smell a lot more bakery like a lot of the sugar cookie like way more than i um way more than i thought that i would i thought it'd be predominantly like the key lime but i do get a lot of the sugar cookie and that's a really nice pretty sugar cookie and the key lime's not overly like zesty or sharp or anything it's really well done honestly it kind of reminds me of um fruit loops kind of reminds me of like a fruit loop scent like the like a sweet fruit loop cereal like with yeah like almost like the fruit loop cereal milk is kind of what that reminds me of that's really good i like that um next i will talk about these larger sizes these were the um returning like original like og scents so i one of them I was like absolutely pumped about like I was so excited because it's a scent that I've had before melted before from Teddy Bees and loved loved so I did pick up that one which is warm and cozy and then the other one that I picked up is new to me but it just sounded really good I don't think I've had this possibly I have but this is cherry vanilla biscotti either way it just sounded really good so before I talk about the actual scents are you kidding me with how cute these little tins are? They're cow print tins. Mm. I obsessed. I love, I think that's the cutest thing ever. So um, let me talk about Warm and Cozy first. Warm and Cozy is a blend of tonka bean, jasmine, patchouli, and vanilla blended with comfort bath and body works type. So I don't, I can't remember what comfort from bath and body works is. But this scent is so good. I remember melting this in our bat or in our bedroom a couple 
like a few times and every time I melted it in there I was just like it just smells so beautiful and I'm so I honestly I might want to get more during the ready to ship already I'm already being like I might want to get more but this is such a good scent it's it's extremely like luxurious smelling it smells like like it smells like if you were at like a fancy resort or like a really fancy like hotel um with like i don't know like per, like a perfumed kind of like like the bed sheets are like sprayed with like this really nice fancy like perfume or something it's sweet and fresh and not it doesn't smell like laundry but it just smells like clean clean linen or like um I don't know it's just it smells like luxurious and rich and fancy and just like clean and fresh and it's so pretty it's such a good scent I love this scent warm and cozy starting this off strong with like the fruit loops and then the warm and cozy I'm feeling good <laughs> um okay so this one is cherry vanilla biscotti once again these labels I I'm always so impressed I feel like she does such a good Tiffany the owner does such a good job of making the wax colors and the glitter and all like, the detail on the wax match the labels and then the labels match the like the titles like the scent names and everything so it's amazing um this is notes of vanilla bakery dough shortbread cherry and almond and I am a big fan of cherry and wax I love cherry and wax um, and I, I've been really enjoying almond scents as well. So I figured this sounds, just sounds right up my alley. Oh yeah. Oh my, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, this, okay. So this is delicious. Um, you definitely have to be a fan of cherry or else. I mean, this just smells like delicious cherry. And it's to me, see, this is what I really enjoy about it is it smells like it smells like cherry without smelling medicinal or artificial. To me, it smells, it's not even really candied. It smells like if you took like, um, like a ripe red cherry and you like juiced, juiced it. It's like cherry juice, like a real cherry juice. And then you do get the almond and it, it is kind of, I mean, sometimes almond leans a little cherry-ish, um, but this is mixed with cherry. So it, it, it works. It's like, to me, it's like a cherry leaning almond with a cherry. It's not really nutty to me. Um, and then the shortbread adds like this beautiful bakery quality. And what was the other thing? Bakery dough. Yeah. It's just like a very, it's like a very subtle bakery kind of component. It's not overly like bakery and then cherry it's more like cherry juice and then a little bakery it's like a sweet soft creamy bakery um but it, it, you can't you can kind of smell like the like crispness of the shortbread I don't know it's good I I like that I'm really really happy with both of those jumping into all of the souffles I'm gonna go through these hopefully a little quickly even though I say that now I won't um first one is cashmere bubble bath love the label on this it's super cute i think so this is cashmere bubble bath cashmere bubble bath is a sensual blend of vanilla rose cashmere cream comfort type once again from bath and body works and bubbly milk bath so this one is a wild card i don't know what drew me to do this because it normally isn't something that i would do but i i'm assuming it's because it's a comfort type and i really love that comfort type from Bath and Body Works. Woo, this is interesting. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so this has got like the prettiest um, glitter all over it, if you can see that. Wow, that is gorgeous. This is a very pretty, definitely does smell like a perfume body care scent. It's vanilla rose, but it's not overly rose, like headache inducing, sharp, kind of powdery rose because I think the sweetness from like, it must be the cashmere cream or the milk bath maybe. It definitely smells like a, it smells like a baby, a baby bath, like a baby's bathtub. Um, 
Yeah, it smells like, or like a bath with like rose petals in it, but like soft and not like, like too strong or headache inducing. This is really pretty. I, I could see enjoying this specifically in probably just primarily the bathroom, but like on a day where I'm like stressed out and I need to just like unwind and take a bath, that would be perfect for that. So that one is really pretty. That is cashmere bubble bath. Okay, next off we have Witching Hour. Witching Hour has once again, such a cool label. Notes are Midnight Jasmine, Tonka Bean, Mahogany, Black Currant, Sweet Marshmallows, and Soft Woods. It looks like this wax melt is really cool. Let me share how that looks. Super pretty, like bluish purpley wax. Um, God, I like am obsessed with this glitter. That is so pretty. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, wow, I really like that. Okay. What am I smelling though? Black currant, maybe, maybe woods, mahogany. I definitely smell the jasmine. Okay, so I definitely smell the jasmine. And the jasmine to me is, it's not, it's definitely more of like a sharp, it's a sharper jasmine than, I, I've definitely smelled some softer jasmines before in the vendor wax world and I've smelled some sharper jasmines. This is coming across sharper but in this blend with the woods and the black currant and the mahogany and the, and the marshmallow, everything, it just, it, it like totally works. This smells like, like a really cool, like edgy, per, like I could picture somebody that's like really cool and edgy wearing this as like a perfume or like a, a guy who also like cool edgy. I don't know it just feels edgy to me it just feels like a really cool edgy body care kind of a scent I mean Teddy B's a lot of her scents can come across a little bit like I don't know they just they they feel like something I've said it before I just I I think she should be doing like colognes or perfumes also on top of the wax because her scents really smell like um like they could just be like really fancy like cologne to perfumes. I could just see Tiffany just like like going up there with like the all the super fancy perfume designer people. I don't even know what perf I'm not into the perfume designer world, but I could just see because her scents smell like that to me. Like they just smell like fa like really fancy like crazy well done like perfumes or clones i don't know this scent is crazy good. is this an actual perfume dupe i need to know i need to know if this is i keep smelling it i said it was going to be quick but i'm not obviously because that's very interesting that is witching hour the best way i can describe that is um like a a, a deep berry with a floral and then a lot of like woodsy elements to like back it up it's just really good so witching hour 10 out of 10. That's great. Um, Pacific Northwest Winter. I've heard a lot of good things about this and specifically Alexis here on YouTube. She's mentioned she really likes it. That's the reason I got this. So, um, this is fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, a slight hint of cranberries and burning fireplaces off in the distance. I trust Alexis's nose. She, last Teddy Bee's Hall, um, there was a scent that I was like, it smells really familiar. And I was like, what? It smells really familiar. I wonder what it is. Why does it smell so familiar? And Alexis, I was watching her video, her Teddy Bee Hall, and she was like, oh, it smells like um, Ghostly Greetings from Scentsy. There was a scent that smelled like Ghostly Greetings from Scentsy, which is like a favorite of mine. And I was like, pow, 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 pow. it was like, I love it. I don't know. I just love when different people can like find the things that like your nose was picking up on. It's amazing. I just think that that is so fun about like this community. It's like some people they'll like, they'll say something that you've been thinking about and they won't even know it. Or like they'll say it before you can even think it. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know, amazing. Anyway, um, I trust Alexis's nose and she likes this scent. So <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. Ooh, this, this smells incredibly realistic. It smells to me 
I've never been to the Pacific North Pacific Northwest, so I can't say if it smells like the Pacific Northwest or not. That's the cute label. Um, but it just it just smells sweet and real. Like it smells almost. You know what this smells like to me? This smells like when I was a little girl and we'd go cut down a Christmas tree, and um, I would be the one who, since I was little. I'd crawl under the tree and I'd water it and it smells like when you'd get the sap stuck on your arms and it's like the smell of like the sap. It smells like, it smells like tree sap, um, but like a fireplace also. It's like a little smoky tree sap. That's really, really good. So excited to melt that. I'll probably hold off melting that until next winter, um, but very, very, very good. So next one is Warlord. This label though, that's cool. War warlord right like doesn't just make you want to say it like that warlord anyway um it's tonka bean vanilla oak spiced praline notes of cocoa incense milky tuberose and tobacco vanilla Van vanilla vanilla whatever Van vanilla um i'm tired now i'm not fancy <laughs> so this one is gray wax really cool gray wax Ooh, whoa that's interesting too once again, kind of similar to me as the witching hour scent where I could see wearing this on my body. I would, I specifically, I would want to wear this on my body. It smells, well, maybe I, maybe I wouldn't want to wear it on my body. I would want Tom, my partner, to wear this on his body because this, this smells like, it smells like a really well-dressed fancy good smelling man i like it i don't i see and that's the thing because all of these notes don't make sense i don't smell any praline in this tonka bean vanilla oak yeah maybe i could, it's definitely like a woodsy scent notes of cocoa incense milky tuberose and oh tobacco tobacco um vanilla vanilla tech tobacco vanilla i don't know how to say that um that's a that's a cologne i think Ugh, i'm not sorry i'm not not well um versed in the cologne world if anybody knows if there is a cologne or perfume that makes up witching hour or warlord warlord i think because the tobacco vanilla is that's like a tom ford right i don't know could be wrong um i'm smelling mostly that because it, it smells like a like a really yummy cologne so far so good um this one is just vanilla it's madagascar vanilla cream vanilla lily of the valley and musk so pretty simple stuff beautiful white wax however i just was intrigued i i got another vanilla scent i believe and yes i did right here vanilla dream so i'm gonna pull that one out and is this one vanilla as well this one is vanilla as well so um i'll pull out the other vanilla scents i have two other vanilla scents i'll talk about but this one just vanilla i'll talk about first um lily of the valley i'm assuming i might smell the floral in, in this but let's see so i do smell the floral that is so pretty oh why does this make me want to cry it smells so familiar to me and it's like making tears well up in my eyes. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know what I'm smelling. I honestly don't know what I'm smelling. I think I just got glitter on my nose. Um, it just, this, I, okay. Let me try to describe this. It does smell like vanilla, but the lily of the valley is there, but it, it works so well with the, the vanilla. It just, it's like this sweet, creamy, pretty floral. Oh, it's so pretty. And it just, I don't, I don't know why it's like triggering some emotion in me. I don't know. It just smells like a soft, like a baby blanket or like the way that like, I don't know, like your mom's hugs smell. I don't know. Maybe it smells like my mom. I don't know. It just smells like sweet and soft 
and like like a warm soft hug I, it's such a pretty scent wow didn't expect to like that this i mean i i figured it'd be like a pretty vanilla scent i like vanilla scents but this really is a really well done pretty vanilla scent i don't like just vanilla that that name is under hyping it that that is so beautiful that should have been titled like the prettiest vanilla ever that is so pretty that's so pretty um okay next one is vanilla dream kind of a similar um vibe here with like the tones and the colors and everything which makes sense it's vanilla um so vanilla cake pops a drizzle of vanilla buttercream angel food cake and a hint of cupcakes at tiffany's i love cupcakes at tiffany's i really enjoy that scent so and i think um specifically i found i really do like it in tiffany's blend she does she has a good cupcakes at tiffany's so um pretty pretty wax this this is a very dip, very different vanilla to me this vanilla is um bake i mean it's obviously it is a bakery vanilla because all, the notes all cake pop buttercream cake, cake yes yeah, so all it's all vanilla based food um dessert bakery scents so i mean that's what it smells like I think predominantly, I'm curious about the bottom. I think predominantly the thing that I smell most in this is the cake pop. Yeah, it's, pre ooh, it's predominantly um, vanilla cake pops. It's very, very pretty. I think I still prefer the um, just vanilla a little bit more. I don't know why that one just really like made me feel something, but vanilla dream, very, very pretty. This is one that I could see being a really good blender scent, something that I would want to, um, mix into other things if i need to like cut a scent down you know cream add creaminess to a scent something like that um next scent is anything but basic is the name and this one is vanilla cotton candy lychee 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 um sparkling champagne orange blossom neroli sandalwood and amber so this one is not purely vanilla kind of going back off here but um it did have vanilla cotton candy, so I figured we'd just kind of keep chugging along with vanilla. This one has some like pretty like pink orange glitter on it. I don't know if you can see that. Really pretty, really pretty glitter. All this glitter is so pretty. Um, ooh, wow. Okay, so definitely orange blossom. Definitely like um like a neroli orange blossomy, bright citrusy florally kind of a scent that is pretty is lychee a citrus mm. neroli orange blossom which i always thought neroli and orange blossom was the same thing right i don't know um sparkling champagne sandalwood amber i do get a hint of like an amber kind of it kind of gives it like almost like a once again kind of like a body care vibe um Vanilla cotton candy. I don't know. I don't know if I can tell. To me, this smells like a really sweet, pretty, um, like a body care orange blossom scent. Like it's a really pretty, like, um, yeah, orange blossom kind of body care scent. That's really pretty. She had another scent that was also kind of like a orange blossomy body care scent too that she had a while ago, like year, a couple of years ago now. I'm blanking on that one. Orange creamsicle, maybe it might. I think it was called orange creamsicle, and that one to me also smelled like like a body care orange, orange, blossomy kind of body care scent. So, um, if you liked orange, the orange creamsicle scent, I think is what it was called from her. They probably would really enjoy that because it's kind of a similar vibe. So that one's really pretty. Um, next I have Cookie Monster. This one is baked vanilla macaroons, sweet vanilla cookies, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. So once again kind of staying on the vanilla train this one's probably if i had to guess it's probably going to be kind of similar to vanilla dream so let's give it a try Ooh, i think i like this one better than vanilla dream yeah i think i prefer this one a little bit better i think i'm not i don't know if i'm as big of a fan of the vanilla cake pop oil as i thought i might be but i, I really like this one 
I can definitely smell more of the cupcakes at Tiffany's, which I prefer about this one. Did I necessarily need to get both Cookie Monster and Vanilla Dream and what's it called? Just vanilla? No, not necessarily. But I think the most um, different one is honestly the Just Vanilla. I think that's the most unique vanilla scent yet. Um, Cookie Monster and Vanilla Dream are definitely pretty similar, but I think I prefer the Cookie Monster just a hair more. That's um, both really pretty vanilla scents. Next one, really excited about this. This is I Heart Vanilla Pear. And I Heart Vanilla Pear is one that I was most curious about just because you don't see a lot of pear scents in the vendor wax world. This is Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Marshmallows and Magnolia, which is Boardwalk Marshmallow, blended with sweet pear and sugar nectar. So beautiful green wax here, really pretty. Whoa. Okay, so this is definitely a lot more um, bright. Like, um, this also smells like it could be um, like a really pretty like pear, pear scented body care. Which the um, Boardwalk Marshmallow is like a Bath and Body Works um, dupe. And it's a, it's a body care scent from Bath and Body Works, which it's like a vanilla based body care scent. So that makes sense. But Yeah, this one just smells like really, like a really, really pretty, um, creamy body care vanilla pear. Like it's, it's honestly really pretty and definitely unique because you, like I said, don't, you don't get a lot of pear scents out there in the vendor wax world. So for the uniqueness, I'm really excited. I think this would be one that I'll probably want to melt, um, probably want to melt this in the spring and I'm thinking I'm like do I want to try and melt this like soon kind of honestly this is one I'm most excited to melt like now I feel like it fits it, it fits spring it just smells like sweet and fresh and bright and juicy and spring timey um okay next up first of her name and this is whipped vanilla citrus infused cream white blossoms decadent lemon cakes candied lime and vanilla so first of her name is the name of this one. Really pretty white wax. It looks like it has some gold glitter on it. Kind of like a yellowish, um, like a yellowish gold glitter. That's really pretty. Um, that, interesting. Okay, so to me, this, it's hard to describe the scent. To me, I'm getting a lot of zesty citrus in here. It says candied lime citrus infused cream, decadent lemon cakes. I think I was ex expecting this to be a lot more creamy vanilla with just like a hint of citrus and like maybe a little bit of floral. But to me, this is predominantly a very, very bright zesty citrus with like, a, like the next note would be like the floral, like a white floral and and just like a hair of a vanilla but like the vanilla is so subtly there it is very much a, a bright zesty citrus scent i could see the scent being perfect for a day where you have like fish going in your kitchen and you want to cut the scent that would be a cut the fish scent out of the kitchen kind of a scent um because it's such a bright citrus um very very pretty very i bet you a small piece of that would go a long way because that's that's by far the strongest scent out of this whole order so far. That one is very, 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 very bright. Very strong. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. I have malted marshmallow sugar cookies. Sweet dough, sugar cookie, brown butter, a pinch of cinnamon sugar, vanilla, tonka, malted milk, and roasted marshmallows so this one seems like it will be very interesting let's give her a go i like the gray wax i always really enjoy gray wax i don't know why just pretty to me <laughs> my face <laughs> that, my fa i feel like my face when i watch it back is probably gonna remind me of that michael scott meme where he's like right that's so good Whoa, I love that. Okay, um, I don't know. It almost smells like there's like, I don't know. I've never had a, a malted milk, like a malt. 
Is that what they call it? Like a milkshake malt? I've never had one of those. So I don't really know what it would smell like. But to me, this smells like, um, this smells kind of like what I think creme brulee would smell like. Or like a, like a burnt, like roasty, toasty, really toasted, caramely glazed marshmallow. Oh, I, this is so freaking yummy. Honestly, this might be, this might be the first one that I'm like, I need a hundred. This one, maybe, oh, this one, maybe Witching Hour and Just Vanilla are ones that I'm already being like, I might need more besides the first two big tubs, which I got those in big tubs, so probably don't need more, but. This is incredible. Um, I like the Gryffindor inspired colors on this too. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be, but it kind of reminds me of like 10 points to Gryffindor, right? Um, really, really pretty, really delicious. Um, if you like, if you like Marshmallow Fireside, I feel like that's kind of like this, but it's got, it's like less marshmallow and more like firesidey, but it's not fireside because it's not, I don't think there's even a marshmallow fireside note in this. Roasted marshmallows is all it has. Oh, maybe it's the brown butter. I think it's the brown butter. It does smell like brown butter. When I made a pasta with brown butter, it does smell like brown butter. That must be it. What the heck? Where did you get a, a, a scent note so like crazy, like realistic like that? I'm amazed, honestly. It's, my mind is blown. That one is good. I like that. Very unique. Very, extremely unique. That is by far the most unique scent I've smelled. That's um, awesome. Next one is Harold Fine Hair. And Harold Fine Hair um, is warm chestnuts, smoky woods, sweet vanilla, which is by the fireplace which is a perfume scent from Replica, which is a perfume that I love and I wear. And um, I love it in wax blends. So really excited about that. That's why I placed, that's why I got this one. Um, cashmere cedar and frosted sugar cookies. So chestnuts, smoky woods, sweet vanilla, which is by the fireplace with cashmere cedar and frosted sugar cookies. Okay, let's go. I know this is a name that's supposed to be um, from, oh, what is that TV show? Game of Thrones, right? Right. Um, but this name also makes me think of Harry Styles. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, so I definitely smell the by the fireplace oil. And what was the other thing? Cashmere, okay. Cashmere cedar and frosted sugar cookies. I definitely smell the, the cashmere cedar. I don't get a whole lot of the frosted sugar cookies. I like it. If you like, if you like the, by the fireplace oil, I feel like you would, yeah, you would just like this. I like it. I like it. It's interesting. Um, I wouldn't, I feel like the, I feel like by the fire, I feel like the by the fireplace is such a strong scent on its own. And it's so, it's so, to me, it kind of is similar, I feel like, to that cashmere cedar. So they work together well in that way. And I, I can see that I under, I totally understand why they were blended together. It does make sense. But I also feel like it kind of just smells like that by the fireplace scent. You know what I mean? It's almost hard to, I guess I do get the cashmere, the cashmere cedar. My nose keeps like ping ponging back and forth. I'm like, well, what am I smelling? I feel like I'm smelling both because they both smell so similar, but which is why they work together so well. So if you've never tried the replica, like by the fireplace scent um, and you're not familiar with what it smells like, you're, you're just going to go absolutely probably insane because it's such a good scent. Um, it's like, it's like a, a housewarming scent and it's like sweet and woodsy and outdoorsy and warm and just a little bit like it, it is like slightly body carry but not like overwhelmingly like perfumey or cologne -y. um but it's just it's like a nice warm house filling scent um so yeah it's it's beautiful it's a great scent for the winter great scent for the winter okay next up oh let me talk about this one actually 
This is Anthony's cabin. This is a repurchase of mine. I've had this before, I love it. I honestly considered getting this in a tub, but I was going a little crazy, so I tried to reel it back with just getting a souffle of this. However, at the ready to ship, I might regret it and I might want to get a tub. So we'll see. The set notes of this, while I show you this, oh, they, she put three blue butterflies on it, which is so sweet. Um, this is birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white floral, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. This is an absolutely incredible scent. It is fresh, like really fresh and clean and like kind of like to me, like kind of like aquatic-y woodsy. It doesn't say there's no nothing aquatic-y in this, but maybe it's the citrus that makes me think that. Or the white florals. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's like it's woodsy, but it also feels like to me, it feels like you would be by like... Um, like you're at in a cabin in the woods by a pond. I don't know. It just smells like, it just smells like there's a lake nearby. I don't know. It's just really, really pretty. So it's a, just a, it's a really fresh, clean, sweet, outdoorsy scent. I love it. That's Anthony's cabin. It's great. If you haven't tried that one, definitely recommend that one. That is one that I would definitely recommend. Um, next one is I Heart Vanilla Palo Santo. This is creamy marshmallow. Creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallows, and magnolia, which is boardwalk marshmallow blended with Palo Santo. So same as the I Heart Vanilla, um, any of her blends. I Heart Vanilla Apples, which I've tried. I Heart, I Heart Vanilla Pear, which is the other one I shared. This is just another iteration of that um, with Palo Santo. So, ooh, love the pretty black wax with the like gold glitter. Ooh. And that's good. I have been loving Palo Santo lately. And this just smells like exactly what it is. It smells like a creamy vanilla, body care leaning vanilla scent with a really nice Palo Santo. To me, to me, this Palo Santo smells a little bit cologne-y, which I thought hers was, from my memory, I thought hers was more woodsy. I guess it's kind of woodsy. Um, but it's a good Palo Santo. That's a really nice Palo. I really like that. Okay, this is my next one. This is Blushed. I had this one in my melting basket last month and I didn't get to get to it in time. So I might roll this over to my next melting basket because I still want to try to get this done or still want to try to melt this and see if I want this in a larger size. Um, but yeah, anyway, Blushed. This is Notes of... Um, vanilla birch blended with peach, flush, strawberries, warm woods, and marshmallows. I don't necessarily need to smell this because I just had this in my mel melting basket last month, but it's the most delicious, realistic smelling peach, flesh, peach scent ever. Like it really smells like a, ju like a really juicy peach, like the peach that you would get from like the peach truck company that goes around, like a good, like yummy Georgia peach, like big, juicy, juice dripping down your chin kind of a peach um with like all of those other notes it's, it's just like a really mm, it's a really good scent with like paired with that vanilla birch it just works really well i might want to get more of that we shall see what i end up doing um but that's blushed next one is gran canaria i don't know it's a place obviously i just i um obviously am not well traveled <laughs> um this one is beach treats Peach nectar, jasmine, violets, notes of fresh citrus and soft woods. I'm not typically a big beach treats, beach night person. However, this just sounded really good. It has peach in it, which I loved. Like I mentioned, I loved the peach in her blushed scent, which made me feel like I wanted to try it in this one. I'm hoping it's the same peach. With jasmine, which is another one of my all-time favorite scent notes. I love jasmine. And then it just sounded like softwoods and citrus. It sounded pretty, right? So, okay. I smell the I smell the beach nights, which I've mentioned. I'm not huge, I'm not huge on beach nights. I smell that. I feel like I smell that first. And it's not the same peach. This this peach. It's not a bad peach, but this peach to me smells. Um, Oh, it's peach nectar, which the other one's peach flesh. Maybe that's why it's a difference. This one smells definitely 
brighter, more florally, um, but it's like a sharp floral. It's not like a soft, sweet. Sometimes it, this, this is, um, I was talking about the Jasmine note and I don't even remember what other one I was talking about the Jasmine and oh, um, yes I do. Witching Hour. So I mentioned the, her Jasmine and the Witching Hour scent is a sharper Jasmine and I've smelled other Jasmines out there in the world, Venerax world. They're kind of more like soft, creamy Jasmines. And then this one is definitely, a, the, to me, it's a sharper, it's a bright, bright, sharp, bright, sharp jasmine with like a bright, sharp peach. And then I, and I, and I get a lot of the, um, uh, beach treats. This, it's okay. It's, a, it's not my favorite, um, personally, but I'm good. I hold, I always hold my thoughts until... I melt things because things can completely change. So this might completely shock me and I might fall in love with it when I melt it. Um, it's just, it's not what I expected, but it's still a very pretty scent. So that is Gran Canaria, I think is how you say it. Um, summer Circus Cookies. This is strawberry pound cake blended with frosted lemon circus cookies. This one just sounded interesting to me. Um, Strawberry and lemon typically go really well together. And I did try something else with her. Oh, Mr. Claus. I think she had her circus, circus, cook, circus sugar cookie scent in Mr. Claus. And I really enjoyed Mr. Claus. So I wanted to try this one. Um, so yeah, let me give it a go. Oh, I mean, that smells really good. I really like it. It, yeah, it's lemony. It's strawberry -y. It smells, it does smell, it's, yeah, it's exactly, it's exactly what I would picture. Well, wow. The, yeah, I like this one. It's like a stra strawberry pound cake and like a lemon bakery scent. Wow, that's, actually, I really like that. This, this might be my, like, third, third favorite. I'm putting this up there. It's, it's, it's pretty, like, classic like le it's just like it's not like a hundred like some of these are, i feel like there are so many scent notes and very interesting like crazy like whoa scent notes and this one honestly feels like very like classic like it's just like it's strawberry pound cake and lemon cookies and but it's so good it's re i mean it's it's yeah it's just beautiful yeah it just works really really well together it smells like summer it smells like a summer bakery scent and I love it. That's delicious. So summer circus cookies, perfect name. Love it. This one is pistachio bread pudding. And this one is fun. It's got some green text for the label. Love that brown wax. It looks like, and it's toasted pistachios, glazed donuts, hints of cinnamon, cream soaked bread, brown sugar, and sweet vanilla icing. Not usually a big um, pudding person, but I love pistachio and I was like, oh, sounds very interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. This one is interesting. It, it, de it definitely smells um, like, like what a cream, like that's so strange. It does smell like bread pudding, like the cream soaked bread. That is amazing that you can capture that scent and wax. You guys ever think about how crazy it is that you can like capture certain scents in wax? Like it's, to me, it's like, how do you make it smell so realistic? Wow, if you guys like bread pudding, I mean, this uh, this smells exactly like bread bread pudding, like a, like a, bre like a dessert bread that's been like soaked in cream. And I do get a pistachio note in here, but it's a nutty. It's a nutty leaning, not cherry leaning pistachio. To me, this is, um, yeah, it says toasted pistachios. Um, cinnamon. I don't get a lot of cinnamon in this. Brown sugar. Yeah, a little bit. Vanilla icing. Yeah, a little bit. Um, very interesting. Uh, the way that she captured that exact scent in there is mind blowing. So very interesting. Oh, this one. Okay. I'm really excited about this one. This is the Dornishman's Wife. Palo Santo, blackberries, marshmallow fireside, and the slightest hint of lemon. I'm intrigued about that slightest hint of lemon, honestly. So this one, I, I have, if 
found that I really enjoy berry scents with Palo Santo. So this one is exactly that. Purple wax, gold glitter. Mm, yeah. Yeah, this is really good. I don't I don't really get any lemon. Hint, it says hint of lemon. Definitely top five. It's really, really good. Uh, what is the... What is the thing that I'm smelling? I think... I think her Palo Santo maybe is a little bit more masculine or maybe has it changed? I don't know, you guys. I, it, it's a leaning a little cologne in here in this one, but I still like it, honestly. It smells like a, a really nice, um, I don't know. It's like a really sweet, like, like a, like a masculine kind of feminine perfume cologne. I don't know, I like it. That's really pretty. That's Dornishman's Wife. I love that, that's good. Really happy I got that. And then Oracle of Dusk. I have um, notes of Oracle of Dusk are black raspberry, bergamot, velvet rose, midnight jasmine, patchouli, and precious woods. Oracle of Dusk. I love the name. That's crazy cool. I love that. And then this is blue wax with some like purple and blue glitter. Mmm. Ooh. Black Raspberry, Bergamot, Velvet Rose, Midnight Jasmine, Patchouli. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. For this one, I definitely do get the floral. It says Velvet Rose and Midnight Jasmine. The florals in here are noticeable. They're very noticeable. But because they're paired with the other, like the wood and the bergamot and the patchouli, it's they're balanced. And then that raspberry just adds like this really unique note. This reminds me of, um, this re also reminds me of a possibly like a Bath and Body Works body care scent. And if anybody else smells this and feels like they know what scent, I'd be very interested in hearing. Um, yes, this one is definitely kind of reminding me of like, like a Bath and Body Works body care scent, which I really like. It smells very, very good. And I, I love the combination of like the berry with like the florals and the woods. It works. Yeah, really, really good. So that one's Oracle of Dusk. Let me know what you guys got below. I would love to hear what you ordered and what your favorites are. Sound off. Um, hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.